good, but I don't know. I just got caught there. Uh... Well, I went for the risk and I came out with it, so I have a crap ton of gas for when we do find a car. Did I did? Fortunately, I'm greedy, so I'm gonna try to grab this. No, I'm not. I'm out. There's one back there, but I'm not going back. Gas down there. Plain as day gas. What else we see? I ain't seen too much of anything. There's the car, though. Some gas. Of course, they're all surrounding the car. Let's get out of here. 93 gas, 6 and 8. Well, if anything, maybe these guys will make it, but we'll see. Hey, it's Staffer. Let's recruit him to the team, because we have no food anyways, so... Zombies, bleach. Oh, I didn't even get to read that. The way ahead has a big tree lying across it. Uh, it looks like someone cut it down to block the road. It would take a group of strong people to move it safely. Let's take a detour. 47 gas in a full day? Holy shit. Bell's a certified medic, it sounds like, so... We had a fair bit of medical supplies there, too. I don't know who I'm playing as, but we can tell them to shut up. <laughs> Everyone else's morale increases. Uh, we have to visit the house. I need food. I'm gonna play as Stapper. I oh, fuck. I didn't even check to see uh, what kind of situation this is, but that's alright. I'm gonna play as Stapper. You can rest for a bit. You can follow. Shit, it's gonna start me like that, eh? At least it's the morning time. Shouldn't be horrible. Jesus Christ, this is one odd shaped building. Don't want that piece of wood. That's not a real weapon. There was a crap ton of zombies out there, and there's a crap ton in here. Well, this went bad to worse. I might not have ammo for it, but I can definitely use it. Never mind. Use it to beat people with is what I was gonna say. Well, you finally get to see a combat rifle. They're pretty effective. Like, it's usually a one-shot, one-kill type of deal. I'm gonna take this piece of wood for now. And this other one, too, in case, uh, Bell runs out. You know what? I'm gonna give it to him anyways. Nothing in here, of course. An empty bathroom. I gotta find food. Like, this is a must type thing. out of here. I have something. Nope. All the shotgun ammo is nice, but I need the food. I only have three food right now. Not, it's okay, but I ain't dying. Found more ammo. Found a little bit more food too, as you guys could see. 
still not the greatest, and I didn't like to see that whole huge horde to my, uh, right there. We gotta get out of here. Fuck, I don't wanna go that way. Is that the way we came from? Yeah, it is too shit. I'm dead. I don't know how I got through that. Pretty sure Bell just died. Of course. Yeah, he died. Try to gather the zombies up. So I can run by them real quick. Do it right this time. Yeah. That was shitty. Absolutely shitty. We some, we found some food, but it didn't go anywhere near as how I wanted it to. Love to see what that dog would have said. Plan out tomorrow. Morale is kind of going up. Catterizes it, holy shit. We'll attempt to stitch it up. I mean, if Bell was here, he could have did something, but... Unfortunately, he kind of died. Sluggish near noon. Let's go to the pet shop. See if I can find any more food or something. And a note. That's what I keep trying to tell myself. What the fuck? Well, there's definitely a lot of dogs in here. Holy shit. Found like one thing of food. Check this way. There we go. Would like to find a little bit more food before we go. Those are like animal skeletons too, by the way. Those aren't like regular skeletons. John. Away, zombies. There we go. A little bit more. Perfect. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna grab this real quick. I don't know how I duked out that zombie, but I managed to slip past him. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Found food. Amongst other things, the food was the the main, most important thing there. That's what I was aiming to grab. So, it's nearly time to camp, but there has been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Who should stay up on watch? Keep Harrison on watch. Right on. Wasn't horrible. Harrison whines. Goop meets another person just chilling on a park bench. He seems friendly. They have a conversation just like before the world ended. What was the main topic? Advice exchange. Advice on different topics. The friendly survivor is enlightened by the advice and gives some great tips of his own. Medical increases. Stapper's medical, sorry. Q's and Q's medical and Harrison's shooting increase in case you ever want to give a gun to a dog. Well, managed to heal up a little bit. That's nice. Visit the trading camp because uh, I still do have the charming perk, so I might be able to get something out of this. 
Let's use our charm and see if we can get this. Get free fitness training right on. Pistol for one food, eh? Free rifle ammo right on. See what's in these buildings here. Pistol ammo, and I almost left without searching that. More pistol ammo right on. Check the other building real quick and then we'll leave. Still up with nine days to Canada. I think this was our record beforehand. Ooh. Thought that was like mayonnaise or something. Hey, get over house. Nah. Gonna loot your house first, bud. Alright, well, we found some things, so. The engine must be going on the car. You can tell because when you go to start the car, the uh, it takes longer. I'm pretty sure we made it to nine days before, so. Watch this be the run, too. The run where we make it, but I'd be dead. The group runs into a horde too thick to drive past and gets cornered. They run for a good place to fight uh, a siege, but the nearby buildings all look ruined. They, see, bleh, they are in a bad spot to fight. Well, we have to try to survive. Definitely want that Molotov. I'm going to try it again. Hopefully I don't screw it up. Love to know some stats on this. I know the umbrella is decent. Uh, give him a beast ball bat. There you go. You can have the cane. Alright. Let's try her out. They weren't fucking kidding. This is like the shittiest place I've seen yet. Should we even try it? No, we shouldn't. I don't want to get stuck in that building. Keep up, guys. Come on, Stabber. So much for the cane. Fucking dog just drops the cane. What? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong person. Shit. Bring that back. I pray to God that didn't just cost me my life. I think it did. Stabber's dead. Ah, oh, fuck. I hate to say it, this could be it. Come on. There's no way in hell. I'm dead. Ah, literally like 10 more seconds. Come on, Harrison. Don't ask me how we're going to do this as a dog, but come on, Harrison. Holy fuck, he's fast. Well... Somehow, as this lone dog driving a car, we are still making it to Canada. Onward to Canada. Let's go that one health. Falls asleep at the wheel. Okay. Safe place to camp the night past. No innocence. Incidents. Innocence. We're almost out of fuel, though, unfortunately. Whoa, it's Nero. I think we remember him. Medical. Witch revealed. Attitude. Joins the team. Who knows? This could be the run, too. Car's broken down uh, from use and abuse. It won't start up again. sure her, or yeah Harrison has no mechanical whatsoever but let's just abandon the car <coughs> excuse me while walking near stubs his toe badly it's not a big deal but it's really annoying so he gets hurt from it okay group decides to set up camp for the night and try to eat a meal the group finds that there's no food left at all despair creeps in well we've been here before and yet we've made it this far so Okay. Harrison, you're gonna have to wait. Piece of wood. F that. Are 
Right off the bat, we find some fuel. No keys in the car, so we have to find the keys. Pretty sure it said it in the description, but... I'm going to loot as fast as I can and try to grab as much as I can, too. It's almost like if we started a new game. Without the whole having to actually start a new game. I shut that door behind me just in case. Try to find these keys fast because I don't think it's looking good. I don't know why I'm so greedy, but... And I somehow managed to sneak by them. I lost my uh, combat rifle in that last one. Get out of here. Fuck, they're blocking the door too. Alright. I'm gonna have to kind of train the zombies. Get them all following me. There we go. Now that they're away from the door, I should be able to run up on the door. So... All right, get in the car. Come on, Harrison, we're going. We're making it to Canada, boys. Was that eight days left, it said? Check that. Well, even if we die, it's gonna be a new record, so. Ranting man, the group is ambushed by a young man. He's ranting and raving. It doesn't look particularly dangerous, but these rants are starting to sizzle. Nero doesn't acknowledge the ranting man at all. It gets so confused by this that he becomes quiet and wanders off. Nero wasn't paying attention the whole time and gets more drawn into his own little world. Come to know that that's kind of, that's kind of like Nero's personality in this game. Like hell we are. We're driving to the next location. I'll definitely take a look around this rest stop. Yeah, his trait, oblivious. Now the rest stop, we're gonna be in and out. I need that food. <laughs> the knife is alright, but it doesn't really have a knockdown or anything like that, so... What the hell happened to that zombie? Ching, gas. And shit. I'm gonna have to sneak by up here, like so. Cool. Actually, you know what? Shit, there's no door. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Take that too. This, this. See, this has like knockdown, right? So I can hit it, and it'll actually knock down. There's another gun there. Fuck, I want that. I gotta do this right though, because if I don't do this right, they're gonna all kind of swamp. What do I want to drop? I want to drop that. Fuck. Missed it. I can still grab it though. Like that. I think we found a little bit of food. But those guns will be nice. Seven food, one fuel, fourteen twenty-nine. It gets late and there's no great place to camp. Solo zombies hobble around in the far distance and one might sneak up on the group while they sleep. Who should stay up and watch? Harrison. Harrison's morale decreases, but our morale goes up again and we eat a decent meal, so. I know I can trust Harrison, so. The group finds a street in a town that has traps all over it. Pits with blankets put over the top, snares everywhere, spikes on barrels, a door with an obvious gu guillotine over it, and there's, and these are just the visible ones. Send a scout to explore for loot? Nah. After making it this far? I don't think so. I mean, I need fuel, but... Whoa, it's V-Power. Did we see V-Power in the last one? I think we did. Well, let's recruit V-Power. It's always nice to have another person. It's gonna be a little bit hard because now I have to manage decent amount of food, but grocery store, even its parking lot is packed with zombies, not too many scavengers have been able to get near all the food still inside. Ah, oh, fuck. 
I'm gonna regret this. Yeah, we've seen V-Power before, because I remember V-Power having that, uh... I remember V-Power having that, uh... That wrench. She's a mechanic. Off me. This is a horrible idea, by the way. I should have just left my gun, too. Holy fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Whew, that was close. The only problem is I have a huge fucking horde after me, but if I can manage to slip past any particular place here, like so. Thank God. That was too close for comfort. Seven food, 45 ammo left. That was way too close. We ran out of gas, of course, but... It's alright. I guess we're gonna have to pay the toll. Unfortunately. All food and gas, plus half your ammo and medical supplies. Fuck that. We all get hurt, but... It's what it is. The group walks to the entrance of a dark tunnel filled car. cars. Uh, there has to be some gas and a working car in there. Also, lots of zombies that you can't escape from easily. We're gonna do, uh, play as V power this one. Oops. They weren't kidding when they said it was dark in here. Holy shit. I didn't even see that zombie. Something down there. I'm not going back for it. That's all I can get from that car. Nothing in that car. Let's get out of here. Seventy two gas. I'm down for that. Back on the road. The group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. Nero looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Let's drive away with no sleep. They end up not finding another good place to sleep and drive for most of the night. They are very tired the next day. The group doesn't have nearly enough food. I only got six days left. Fuck. I might be able to do this. Such uh, strength and fitness unfortunately decreased. Let's jump it. Wow. Don't tell me I just fucked up that bad. Nero is really uh, real mad about having to pay bridge tolls, even post civilization. He runs right into the restricted or uh, retracted bridge, sending the car flying past. Nero's composure revealed to be crap. The slow car immediately flips upside down and erupts into flames, even clearing, not even clearing the obstacles. Everyone was killed. <sighs> that one was on me. You guys can. Fucking roast me for that. You can blame me for that. Holy shit. I can't believe that. I should have just took the detour. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> that sucks. We had six days left. So that's a new record. Um, unfortunately, we didn't make it. I really should have took that detour. I don't even know what I, the hell I was thinking. Hopefully, we make it next time. Because, I mean, 
The first attempt we only had we made it with like nine days left. The second attempt we had six days left, I think it was. It was six or five, but I'm pretty yeah, pretty sure it was six. So hopefully maybe next time we'll get to three, maybe even we'll get to the finish. I don't know. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you have a nice day, comment down below, and subscribe and share as it really helps me out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.